Okay, I'm going, I'm going to make some compost tea today. You need a five gallon bucket. You can get one at Lowe's. A paint strainer. It's made for a five gallon bucket. You'll need an aquarium pump. The stronger the better. I'm really not sure if mine is even powerful enough. I hope so. I'm using two stones down at the bottom. It's a dual pump. For the amendments, about a half a cup of alfalfa pellets. I'm going to crush them and then put them in. Fish fertilizer, all natural, organic. Might be fish emulsion, I'm not sure. Earthworm castings, organic. Half a cup of those. About three tablespoons or more of the fish fertilizer. Azomite rock dust, trace minerals. I'll use a good dash. I'm not going to be picky. Back guano, six tablespoons. I have three gallons of water, and it's rain water too, not faucet water. And three tablespoons of the molasses. A few blades of aloe vera. We'll cut them off, squeeze out the juice. And see Agra 90 sea salt. It's got a lot of trace minerals. The directions call for one teaspoon per gallon of water. So I'll need three. Then afterwards, you need two teaspoons per gallon of water after the brew is complete. That's a total of three tablespoons. So I'll put one tablespoon in and I'll put two more when the tea is over. You let the tea brew for 24 to 30 hours. Mix all the ingredients and let it set at the top of the paint strainer. It's kind of like a bag, like a tea bag. Let it brew and you can use it as a foliar feed which means you spray it directly on the plants or you pour it into the soil and you want to use it as soon as possible that's because the microbes are alive you don't want them to die you can see it bubbling So we'll just give it time and um, that's pretty much it.